Stand here on top of the hill, I can point around and go, a million dollars, half a million dollars, six million dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, three hundred thousand dollars, six hundred thousand dollars. Over there, they found about three million dollars. Around the back here, um, Hungarians, three hundred thousand dollars, six hundred thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. I found a hundred thousand dollars here, five hundred thousand dollars over there. It's just incredible, just the money that can be in a small area. Uh, it's great. If you had a massive big bulldozer and you could bulldoze the whole lot, you'd be laughing. Um, you can peg a claim and you might find nothing in it, but then again you, you might find a million dollars. That's just the, the, the rush of it all, you know, that's what we're all here for. We all want the million dollar claim. Um, we started working here about 10 years ago. Uh, mining, I was actually finding fossils years ago. Now I'm trying to find the sea maple. The thrill of actually finding it is the greatest part when you actually you put all your hard work into it, you spend all your money trying to find it, you hear all the rumours of all the other people finding big opal, big money, um, and it just gives you this thrill, it gives you this feeling like, yeah, you know, I want to be part of it, I want to find some of this, I want to make something with myself, and touch wood, this is my lucky spot. If you come through here, we can see where the, the opal that I found here is a beautiful, big, massive seam. It's fantastic. And right here, we found $250,000. Just right here, it was so thick and juicy and green, and red and every color that you can think of. And the, the feeling was just the best feeling I ever had. It was, I nearly started crying or so emotional, working so hard just to, to find the opal. You, you don't find opal every day, but just that the fever it gives you, the thrill it gives you when you have the fine, the big fine, everyone wants the big fine, million bucks, million bucks, but I'll take the quarter of a mil. That's beautiful for me, mate. Meanwhile, Mark and Darren have been finding some small pieces of opal called trace, so Mark is confident some bigger pieces are just around the corner, but prefers to use a tunnelling machine rather than risk the dangers of explosives. Time for the big money today, Darren. No worries, Mark. When you're using the tunnelling machine, it's got all these teeth on it, and when you're cutting through the ground, it sounds really dull, but when you hit the opal, it sounds like glass, it's smashing. That's the sound that all miners dream about, the sound of opal. See the opal down there? Let's go see what we can find, eh? Look at that stone, man. There's opal everywhere. Flash, flash here. Nice red. Well, oh, Jacko, I'd like to stay here and go through this crystal with you, but I think I'd better go upstairs and check that weather, mate. Yeah, all right. All you may end up flooded out. Yep. All right. Yeah, go and check. You'll be right. Yep. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. See you in a minute, mate. I'll dig out another 10 Gs. Another 10 Gs. Very <laughs> nice. Another 10 Gs? That day, they pulled 50 Gs out of the wall. Oh. There is a massive storm brewing. And when it does rain in Cooper PD, it buckets down. This is not good news for the miners. The normally hot and dusty desert is awash and the mines are easily flooded. This is not the time to be caught 30 metres under it's irreplaceable sort mm -hmm. of material. I mean, you just don't see big pieces like yep. that at all. Later that night, Mark's dad, Stuart, a licensed opal valuer, drops in to see him. Yeah. Thank you, love. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. He only wants the, the best quality opal, and he's willing to pay um, a great price for this, this quality opal. Actually, what I'd like to show you, mate, is that um, that stone I first found when I was sitting on the playing machine with Darren. Yeah. And, um, I thought that life was over. <laughs> and all of a sudden she rained from the heavens. Yeah. If I can find it there, there she is. Um, oh, I'm man. thinking about buying it out of the parcel for myself. Reckon I should? Yeah. As sentimental yeah, value, no, no, you know, but, just to, Well, no, well, it's, it's got a story behind it, hasn't it? Yeah. So you might as well. Yeah. I mean, that is beautiful. That mm. is just awesome. 
Yeah, I'll never forget when uh, I was driving down that little tiny tunnel and Darren was sitting on the blow pipe and he was sitting there and had his hands between his legs and he was crying poverty. So was I, you know. And uh, within a couple of cuts, that little mm -hmm. baby just sort of popped out. Oh, it's the best feeling, I tell you, when I found it, mate. I was so excited. Oh, no, it was sure. fantastic. Oh, that's um, beautiful. No, keep it. I mean, that's got, that's got a story. And the money. I mean, you never you never replace that. I mean, that's 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 the, the background for all yeah. of it, isn't it? So, I mean, it that's, certainly is. that's what you should keep. Really. Mm. I'll make a belt buckle out of it. Give it to your mum. How much do you reckon that's worth, actually, mate? 100 carats? About 100 that? carats, yeah. Yeah. So, in the rough, it's got to be worth... Poor... Oh. Eighty-five to ninety dollars a carrot, just mm -hmm. in the rough of the way it is. Wow! So that's eight and nine thousand dollars, just like it is.